And this one sound, Shambho, has been the basis of everything we have done here and we will continue to do here. Our life and our way to go beyond life will be this. This happened a little over a century. In the near Palani Hills, which is the now very famous pilgrimage for devotees of Muruga or Kartikeya. There was a sage who came near Palani, spent a certain amount of time. He went into very deep states of samadhi. Because people saw him in states that they had never seen before, people started gathering and at one point, more people started gathering around this sage than going to the temple. So naturally there was a certain amount of uh, disturbance in that society. So uh, some people conspired and they wanted to somehow see that this sage is put away. So they complained one day to the local like panchayat kind of setup. And they said, he is... he is in a... in a state of sacrilege because they found him during morning... early morning time when he went for defecation, at that time he was uttering God's name. <laughs> to put it very simply, he was shitting and saying Shiva at the same time. Somebody got offended by this. So they complained and they said he must be punished. He is causing a sacrilege. So they called him for an enquiry. He went and sat there. Then they asked, is it true that you are uttering the holy name during unholy times? <laughs> he said nothing. His mouth was closed, he said nothing. They questioned him again and again, he said nothing. Then they're about to mete out a punishment, some kind of punishment. All they wanted was to have him banished from that place. But then something happened which unnerved all of them. He simply sat there with his mouth closed. But everybody started hearing the reverb of Shambho, loud and clear. He didn't say a thing, mouth is closed, not saying a thing, but his very body started reverberating Shambho. After that, they left him alone. In many ways, this sage <laughs> And this one sound, Shambho, has been the basis of everything we have done here and we will continue to do here. Our life and our way to go beyond life will be this. So here we will do a Shambho meditation. Very simple, I want all of you to listen carefully, few instructions, those of you Walking up and down, if you settle down quickly, that'll be nice.
for yourself and everybody. Please, you must either maintain social distancing or you must be masked. One of these things you must manage, please. So these are the three aspects of your physiology, your energy physiology. There is something called as anahata, where your ribcage meets just beneath that is anahata. Your pit of your throat is vishuddhi, between your eyebrows is the agna. So all the ladies, you must hold your left palm, the center of your left palm in line with your anahata and then place the right palm over this. We can't call you gentlemen anymore, it's too English. All the male members, who wherever you are, you must just do the reverse, put the right hand and put the left over that. So when I say Vishuddhi or pit of the throat, move it here. When I say Agna or between the eyebrows, move it here. So if you are a female, left hand first. If you are a male, right hand first and then the other hand over that. If you have four hands, still the same thing. No, no, just in case you are... who knows? Is this clear? So we will utter this sound, say this after me. Don't run away with the mantra, just say it at a certain pace and go with the pace that we set. Please place your hands upon your anahata. Ladies, left hand first and then the right hand, men, right hand first and then the left hand. Close your eyes, sit with a slightly upturned face, eyes closed. <coughs> Shambha 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 
Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Shambha Move your hands to the pit of your throat, Vishuddhi.
please move your hands between your eyebrows, the center of your palm, between your eyebrows. Amen. Uh... 